the title of this episode could kind of be a double entendre because it could mean the boys promise like the boys promise to each other or promise to be the wizard king or it could be like the boys promise like oh wow those boys are promising like the boys have promise i don't know What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode two. I'm enjoying this journey so far. I love the magic. I love the animation. I'm very intrigued by the story because I'm like, is he going to? I thought he was going to be like uh, no power, but then he has power, but then he has a lot of power. But then I just don't know. I don't know how he activates that, too. I don't know what was demon. Like, Is he like Meliodas? Well, I, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm curious about that. I'm going to talk about that at the end of the episode, actually, because I didn't want to. I didn't talk about that at the end of the last episode. And I actually wanted to. So. I say we hop into this. Remember, if you guys want to see early access or full length to the, this show or any other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. If you guys could support by leaving a like and a comment, I would really appreciate it. And then you guys could also follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I appreciate y'all as well. Let's hop into this. Black Clover episode two. And I like that too, how uh, it was Asa when they were younger, not no matter what, would stand up for him. Take a beating for him, you know? It gave him a level of friendship and bond that you can't break, you know? Rival. A five-leaf clover. That grimoire with the demon power looks sick. Yeah, that sword that came out of it, it's crazy that it came out of his grimoire. Look at that outline. No matter how you were born, you can you can do anything. You can become whoever you want to be. Oh, I am excited for this opening. The, oh, it says the title of the episode right here. Oh, that's cool. So, I remember last episode they talked about something happened that made you know stop crying. He didn't cry ever since then as a child. And Asta kept coming home covered in mud and dirt, which I'm guessing he was just training. But was that incident what we saw at the beginning in last episode, like the whole fighting over him, protecting him for his necklace thing? Or was that a different incident that I'm thinking of? I'm curious. Sister Lily. They just called her sister a lot last time, so I missed her last episode. So I missed her name. Mm-mm. So he has really been trying this for 10 years. Then the world was covered in deep, deep darkness. It's like a story. I wonder how real it is though. See, that looks like the statue on top of the on top of the skull. Fought the demon to bring dawn back to the world. So is that skull a demon? So this definitely seems like a fairy tale that you'd read to kids, but I wonder how real this is. There's got to be some realness to that story, right? Oh, that's the skull. Yep. The skull is a demon. The demon that was going to destroy the world in never-ending darkness. The first wizard king destroyed him. Hmm. Hmm. I like that story. I like that story. The title of Wizard King has been passed down through many generations. It looks like through many different people, including women. Women can be Wizard Kings. The Clover Kingdom. That's the kingdom we're in. Clover Kingdom. Most... Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, there's a King King and then there's a Wizard King. Okay. So they're like... Okay, that makes sense. They're the protectors. They're the peacekeepers. Whereas the king handles political matters. Yuno likes that Asta said that. So that somewhat inspires Yuno to want to be the wizard king too. That's what you see from a good rival. You see motivation, inspiration, you know. He, it seems like the base of him wanting to be the wizard king was from one from the story, but also from Asta. That's crazy. That is a completely different subject. You're not marrying Lily. Give it up, Asta. 
I'll marry Lily before you do. Actually, I'd marry Lily if you're interested, you know. Is, are they going to show us the details of the incident? This looks like the guy who tried to steal. You Oh, because Yuno's delivering the letter. That's why he thinks he's an easy prey. And Yuno's a crybaby at this stage of his life. He sees that necklace. Ooh, could be worth something. Talk about need money for booze, right? Bro, if you're going to steal from a child, you're such an asswipe. It rarely snows over here in Washington, but I love the sound of running in snow. Like that sound, I love it. This guy's a fucking prick. You're gonna gut punch a little kid, bro. Oh, come on, come on, hit him with a tornado. I know he's not going to. I know Oz is going to do something. Is this the catalyst that turns him into the cool, suave, you know, that we know? Because he, he's a crybaby right now, but it's it's expected, you know? Shout out Asa, no fucking hesitation running straight in. There's one thing our main character can do, it's take a beating and keep going back in. They never stay down. Look, he didn't even get down. He was like... Back in it, boy. Not yet. Kick him in the nuts. Do something, Asta. Play cheap. Oh. Is psych psychoticness scared the fuck out of him? He's like, I'm not going to kill a kid over a pendant, but Jesus, you sure beat the shit out of him for it. Finally, we're back here. I wanted to see this. Now, what is going to happen? Is Revchi going to die? Because I don't even think Asa's conscious of what he's doing right now. I don't... That is fucking... Oh, he got sent flying. So it's like a knockout in one hit kind of thing. Okay, okay. I'll be honest, I kind of wanted him to cut him in half with that, but maybe I'm just a little too dark in my head right now. Anyone can depend on how hard you work. <laughs> it's not really, it's not really realistic. You can't say two, like we're both going to be it, but I like it. I really do appreciate that. Like he's doing this based off his homie's ambitions. He's like, man, you inspire me, even though he's more gifted, you know? And now they're officially rivals. Save me again. I can already tell you I'm going to love their friendship. So we stopped crying because of his rival, and he's not really the nicest because of his rival. To make everyone you care about happy. That is a true good goal. Like, truly motivated. Like... I like that a lot. Yeah, these boys, I can... I don't think you'll be able to top Gon and Killua in terms of friendships for me, but this has already got a fucking... This has got a couple of points in my cool book. I like this. I like this. Well, that was a fantastic episode, I must say. I am very much liking their friendship. Like, Naruto and Sasuke were genuinely, like, 
competitive like they only wanted to one-up each other like and that's what pushed them to their limits you know they had those moments of caring for each other and like deep down they consider themselves buddies but because they each individually had such traumatic childhoods and experiences it was so hard for them to open up and to be to show compassion towards the other person whereas these guys literally grew up together as brothers like these guys are they've been there for each other since the very get-go they know exactly what the other person's gone through literally they've been there through it so the fact that these guys i get that same rivalry feeling to where like they're going to motivate and push each other beyond their limits so far that naruto and sasuke have which i love but they're still nice on top of it like i love oh my god that's why killer was my favorite character that's why he's my outro character on, on the channel killer was my favorite character in all of hunter hunter and he was born ah, i don't want to spoil it for hunter hunter just know that he should not be the way his life has been set up he should not nearly be as nice as he is now he is the nicest character in all of hunter hunter in my fucking opinion it is crazy i love that boy the things he'll do for his friends whoo and like i i feel like i could see this happen i could feel like i could see As asta i'm gonna not say asta i can see asta easily sacrificing anything you know when it comes to protecting the people he cares you know he's already sacrificing his uh, stuff that you know isn't too important like sleep other things because he wants to be disciplined and he wants to work hard he has to put in that effort and i love the fact like this is this is what i'm curious about it seems very fortunate i know at some point we have to learn about their parents or backstory or something they were dropped off at a church in the in a poor area but yet they both have amazing potential they both had their names sewn onto their clothes you know had a pendant that means something but like we have to because it seems so perfect the fact that at asta might be the only person anyone's ever seen in the kingdom with zero magical talent yet he's also in my opinion i'm guessing i haven't seen yet one of the only people's who's ever been born with a five-star clover, which resides with demon power, which his specific sword, and because he has no magical power, he's been able to boost his physical strength. That's something I was gonna ask in episode one. Is it going to be like Naruto, where you have a mix of, I'm just gonna call it magic, even though it's ninjutsu and Naruto. Is there a mix of magic and fighting, or is this gonna be purely magic? Cause I'll be honest, you know, even though he's swaggy, cool, suave, you know, he doesn't seem like he's strong. Like, he seems like he's, like he's relied on magic his whole life whereas asta is that physical i'm gonna go in no matter what kind of guy so i'm just saying is it gonna be like that you can feel free to answer me without spoiling that but with him not having any latent magical powers forcing himself to build up his physicality for him to be blessed with a sword that is extremely big and heavy but also nullifies magical powers like that seems pretty pretty uh, coincidental right like like and the reason I say that is because Seven Deadly Sins, Meliodas, no spoilers there, but he has some special powers very similar to Asta here. And it turns out that that is for a specific reason. There is a very specific reason we learn as to why he has those powers. Very specific. And so is I want to know more about Asta. Like, let's just say, and 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 i'm guessing it's not like seven deadly sins where there's multiple races like the demons in seven deadly sins is a race i got to ra i don't know what it is in this show i'm curious let's just say for example it is a race demons are a race of people a race of of beings that have no magical power and where they rely on weapons that nullify magical power you know like it, but he also has a grimoire which is magical power but i'm see i want to know more and i'm sure i'm going to i'm just so flabbergasted that i don't know yet and i'm fucking i'm hurt because i'm so curious and i can't wait to meet the rest of the fucking knights the guy with the cigarette who i've i've, I've been told 80 percent of his screen time is on the toilet that's what i've been told i don't know i'm just so excited <laughs> i'm excited to meet him and so many other people man i tell you i'm hyped hopefully you guys are as well if you guys want to see early access to three and four if you guys have seen this on youtube those should be up on patreon right now check out patreon down below i appreciate y'all uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. And do I have any Q&As right now? If you guys don't know, you can ask me any question you would like to. And I'll post it on the chat, on the video for Black Clover or any episode. Just go to the Discord and go to the Q&A section. You can ask me any question. But nope, we have one for ReZero and Slime. We do not have any for 
Black Clover. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Peace out.